Pepper. The idea for using Robot Soccer as um, a platform for artificial intelligence actually started uh, with a professor here at UBC saying, let's get away from this idea of these static robots, like, you know, the chess playing robots and the ones that kind of see everything around them, they're omniscient beings, and let's get out into the real world and apply artificial intelligence and robotics somewhere where you don't understand the world around you completely, you can't see everything, you can't rely on your data. It's all happening in real time, very fast paced, um, there's no time to sit back and think, you need computers that can react to the real world. The coach, which is the artificial intelligence, will tell the robot where to go. The images come from overhead cameras on the field and they look down, see the robot, send that to our computer. It finds which robot is closest to the ball and then that one will either defend or attack and then the other robots will adjust their positions accordingly. When it's humans playing soccer, it's really hard for us. We don't know what the others are thinking even on our team, so we need to communicate with each other. It's easy for a computer in a split second to switch up and say, well, actually, you'd be better forward now. Go up. Bring this one back. Here you go. Come on, buddy. There you go. Robots break. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of running off the field, pulling them off, putting a new one on. We need to monitor if it thinks it has the ball, but it doesn't actually, then that's a problem and it needs to be taken off and put into the, uh, the pit. Various components came in late and um, the robots were built later this year, so we had uh, to get the boards ready later and then we had to write the code later. A lot still needs to be tuned before we go to Mexico and before we become a winning soccer team, but uh, we have a week to do it, so we're pretty confident. <laughs> yeah, we're all probably geeks here, but you, you, get, you get into it so much that I've got these photos where we're all like arm in arm and we're cheering them on and it's like it's like the real World Cup and we, we ended up losing to uh, China actually who's here in the in the playoffs last year and it was down to the wire 0-0 zero, zero to the last three minutes and they scored a goal on us and we couldn't get it back and it's it's like cheering for the any playoffs. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite stressful. <laughs> During game time and right before game time there's nothing we can do. It's just sort of we let our robots go. It's like watching your children grow up and <laughs> hop on the soccer pitch.